Good morning, first grade. Welcome to Wednesday. Today, we are gonna go ahead and look at our calendar time again today. Today, we are gonna actually start with our problem of the day. Each day, we have a problem of the day, something we need to solve. And today, our problem of the day has to do with our calendar. And we took a look at this chart the other day when I had you all tell me your birthdays. Now, some of you didn't tell me your birthday. Mrs. Darcy was kind enough to go ahead and find when your birthday was and we went ahead and finished out our chart. So we have our graph right here. And today our problem of the day wants us to find out which months have exactly one child's birthday in it. Just one. Now, for me to do this, I have to look. Remember that our graph is gonna start with January and it's going to work all the way to December. So I like to start at the beginning because it helps me to stay in order. So which months have exactly one birthday. Well, I can start here, can't I? January, February, March, April. So April has one birthday. May has one birthday. June has one birthday. Nope, not July, not August. Whoa, September, nothing for October. November doesn't have any, and December has one. So we had a lot of birthdays, a lot of birthday months that had one birthday. And as you can see, February had the most birthdays of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of our calendar for today. Let's go ahead and begin with our days of the week. Get your snapping fingers out and here we go. Days, days of the week. week. Days, days of the week. week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then comes Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then comes Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, friends, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna tell you already that yesterday was Tuesday. So what is today? What comes after Tuesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're gonna go ahead. Wednesday is today, and what will tomorrow be? Today is Wednesday, what comes right after Wednesday? After Wednesday comes Thursday. So tomorrow will be Thursday, maybe. <laughs> Let me get that off. Okay. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, friends. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of our calendar. Our month is still September. Over here on our calendar, we see September and we see today's date. Yesterday was the 8th, so today is the... 9th. It is September 9th. We're going to go ahead and write that date. I'll write it right above here for right now. We will go ahead and we will remember how to spell September in just a second. You can see capital S for September, a little space, the 9 because that's the day, comma, and our year is 2020. Here we go. S-E-P, S-E-P, T-E-M, T-E-M. B E R B E R September September S E P S E P T E M T E M B E R B E R September September All right Now our season is still summer for another 2 weeks What is the weather like Go ahead take a look out your window What is your weather like today Windy rainy Cold, cool, hot, sunny, partly cloudy. We know it's not snowing yet. Okay. 
let's go ahead and take a look at our sequencing. We're still counting by ones, and I know that because I'm starting with 59, I'm going to 60. So what's gonna go after 60 when we're counting by ones? 59, 60, 61, 6, 1, 61. After 61 will come 62. Remember, in your lesson that you learned for Thursday, 62, the first thing you hear is 60, and then you hear two, and that is how you write and get to 62. All right, moving on after 62 would be 63, and after 63, 64. Okay, we have two, three more things to do real quickly here for us this morning, first grade. Take a look at our clock. Remember, this is our clock. You will remember that this is my hour hand. My hour hand points to my hour. My minute hand goes through my time. So if my hour hand is pointing at the two and my minute hand is pointing through the 12, what time does my clock say? Yep, it says two o'clock. So on my clock, we need to write two o'clock. The hour goes on the left side of the colon and these two zeros after say o'clock. Remember if it's o'clock, it is, there are no extra minutes past the hour. All right, let's go ahead and do a little counting. Today for our counting, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to pat with our hands on our legs. We're gonna start at zero and we're going to count to 100 and we're counting by tens. Here we go. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Do it one more time. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And let's practice one time starting at 100 and going back to 0. We're going to start really loud and we're going to get really quiet. Okay, here we go. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Great job, first grade. Let's finish out with our months of the year. You get to get up and dance. We have to do it. We're going to just do it one time through today, though. Okay, just once. So get up, let's do a little wiggles. Make sure that when you're done, that you're sitting down calmly and that you're ready for the rest of your day. Okay, here we go. We're starting with January. January, February, March, and April, May, and June, and July, and August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around and sit. <laughs> okay, first grade, go ahead and have a seat. Make sure you're sitting down and ready for the rest of your day. Today, you will have a new math lesson, so check back in just a little bit for your math lesson, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.